Meta are rolling out yet another change to their advertising platform. This time it's at the ad set level and it's to do with the delivery and optimization settings. So in the past, we would go into our ad set and this is a conversion campaign that you can see on the screen right now. And we would scroll down and you can see we've got optimization and delivery and we could choose what we wanted to optimize for by clicking on the edit button. Now in the past, this used to be down even further. It actually used to be down at the bottom of the screen. They've since moved it up to here. And this new change changes this optimization delivery and how it looks yet again. So now what you will see, if you go in to create a new campaign, and again, this is a conversion campaign that I'm showing you in this ad set now. We get to the ad set settings choose website, and you can see we now have performance goal. So in the past, this was optimization and delivery and optimization for ad delivery. Now with this change, you will see performance goal right here at the top. And they do have this little information box that advises you what to do in terms of selecting this, but it can be confusing. So let's talk about, first of all, what this means, and second, what you should actually choose in order to get the best results, because if you do make the wrong choice here, it can have a huge negative impact on your ad campaign. Okay, so for this example, I'm actually running a leads campaign. The same would apply if you chose a sales campaign and wanted conversion. So basically, if you're running any type of campaign where your goal is to get conversions, then the best option here is to choose maximum number of conversions. It might be tempting to choose something like other goals and go down to maximize the number of link clicks or the number of landing page views. But if you want conversions, if you're running a campaign to get leads or to get sales, then you should always be choosing to maximize the number of conversions as your performance goal. The reason for that is because when you select your performance goal and you choose maximum number of conversions, you're telling Facebook to put your ads in front of people who are likely to convert either into a lead or into a customer, depending on what you've selected. Now, if you choose something like link clicks, Facebook is going to go and show your ad to people who are likely to click on links, but not necessarily likely to actually opt in or purchase from you. And it's going to give you exactly what you ask for. If you choose link clicks, for example, you will get a lot of clicks on your ads and they're going to be cheaper than if you were to choose to maximize the number of conversions here. But you're not going to get many conversions if you choose that link click option. It's going to get you link clicks, but very few conversions. It's going to burn a lot of money. If you choose maximum number of conversions, yes, your link click cost will be higher, but you're going to get cheaper conversions in the vast majority of cases. So when you come in here, choose your performance goal, make sure you select that appropriately. I think this is actually a good change overall. Then you're going to come down here, choose your conversion event as usual. So as I said, with a conversion campaign, you would choose to maximize the number of conversions and then you tell it which type of conversion you want. So if you want to get leads, you would choose lead, assuming you are using the lead standard event on your thank you pages. And if you wanted purchases, then obviously you would come down here and you would choose the purchase event. Again, assuming you are using standard events and I actually can't choose purchase event here because I've chosen a lead campaign objective. I would need to choose a sales campaign objective to be able to come in here and choose that purchase event. So the other thing that I think is really important to mention here is the cost per result goal, now that it's further up the page here, is much more prominent. And I think it's going to be more tempting for people to look at this and feel like they should enter something there. So you can see here, it does say that it's optional. And if we hover over it, it describes what this does. But basically what you're doing, if you enter a value here, is you're setting a cap on the bid that Facebook uses when it puts your ad into an auction. So you're telling Facebook, hey, I would like to get my conversions, in this case, leads, at whatever cost I enter here. So if I want $5 leads, I can put $5 in here. Facebook is then going to try and get me leads at or below $5 per conversion. But when I do that, what might end up happening if I enter a value that's too low? Let's say I enter a value of $3, but Facebook simply can't get me leads at $3 or less. What you'll find is you will have very low delivery. I recommend for that reason, when you're just starting out, leave it blank in the vast majority of cases. Manual bidding does have a place and it can be effective, but it is a much more advanced technique to use and it's something that you should use 
once you kind of have a really good feel for ads. If you're just getting started in particular, leave your cost per result goal blank. I actually leave this blank in the vast majority of cases. 90% plus of our ad sets are not using a cost per result goal. As I said, it's only something I use in very specific situations. Now, one more important thing to mention is if you're not on my newsletter already and you wanna learn how to become a better digital marketer and a better Facebook advertiser, make sure you click the link below this video in the description, sign up for that. I send it out for free every week or so, people seem to love it. So if that interests you, make sure you sign up. And I also should say on this, it hasn't rolled out to all accounts. So if you don't see this new setup yet in your ad sets, you'll probably see it in the next few weeks. Facebook always roll out new updates gradually across accounts. So don't stress if you don't see it. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope this one has helped you. If it has, click that like button and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.